Hey, bro. How you feeling, man? <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> Rumor has it we're live on DrexelDragons.com right about now. About that. So about that. It's that time of year again, man. Basketball season is here. Yeah, it's getting close, that's for sure. You've uh, you've been you've been putting the team through its paces. Uh, a week from Friday is the first game. Uh, we got a lot to cover and a little bit of time, but uh, we we'll start with the good stuff first. How was your off season, man? It was good. I yeah. mean, had a good time. You know, got to relax a little bit. But, uh, you know, basketball 24-7, 365. But, uh, you know, it was fun. Uh, did some good things. Uh, Hall of Fame, uh, you know, my former boss uh, got put in the Hall of Fame. And the whole family came back. That was a great time up in Springfield, Mass. So uh, uh, you, you actually were there for more than just the ceremony. It was sort of like uh, he turned it into a full event. Oh, uh, he did. He turned it into a full event. Of course, he made me come from the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Not like everybody. Everybody else came a day later than I came. But we had such a good time. It was great to see the old players that uh, that we had at UMass and uh, uh, what the guys were doing. Uh, it, it, it was just a, just a fun time. It was a great three days for me. Uh, you know, I did a little work when I was there too. I did some recruiting, uh, you know, in between, uh, you know, going to a lot of the uh, festivities. But it was fun. I mean, it was a great time. I'm so happy for Cal. It's, it's well deserved. But just having all those guys there and everybody being a family, it's a UMass family, it's Memphis family, it's Kentucky family. We were all there together just trading stories and talking <laughs> stuff. So we had a good time. Uh, you talk about family and. Uh I was fortunate enough to attend a dinner for your, first, for your 50th birthday party. How about and, that? Uh, How about that? Uh, that was something that came up a lot. A lot of guys talked about the fact that, you know, you guys really are a family. And when you guys go to, to coaching conventions and stuff, other coaches always mention the fact that your group, Cal's group, is always together. Yeah, it got, got a little mushy in there that night. But uh, <laughs> I guess they say, you're not hollering at me right now. So I guess we can say some nice <laughs> things about him. But no, it was, that was a great night. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate all the guys coming back. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, and. Uh, you know, hey man, 50 years old. So you know, I, I know I'm getting old. Like I said, one of the things about going back to Springfield was I was in my 20s when I coached those guys. At least some of the guys that came back for my 50th. I, you know, I was a little bit older, but uh, but uh, you know, we always talk about family. You know, we talk about being a family, and that's one of the things we we, we really try to do, and uh, we really, you know, we really try to make sure it happens. And uh, uh, I guess this summer was big for me to really see that you know those things are coming true. No, you know. You're 50 now. You're going into your 15th year here at Drexel University. Did you ever expect way back when, 15, you'd be going into your 15th year? <laughs> nah, you're man. the dean of coaches and in the CAA. Honest, everybody says that to me. Man, you've been there for 15 years. You know, some people say, how long have you been there now? Eight years? And now, man, it's my 15th season. So uh, I think the people at Drexel didn't think I was going to be there for 15 years. But uh, now nah, it's been great. Uh, you know, it's been a, a great experience, uh, a lot of good times. Uh, you know, the thing about it is a lot of the same people are still there during my 15 years. So I think that makes it a little bit special. Uh, last year was probably one of your more challenging seasons. You finished 500 in the league, but man, was it a struggle to get there. You were, you were down to seven players at the end, and, yeah. and those kids gave you everything they had. I, I, I would say it's probably the most challenging, frustrating season I've ever had as a coach. Uh, just because, you know, one of my big things, you know, to prepare. You know, and, you know, my big thing, pressure's not to perform, pressure's to prepare. And we just couldn't. We didn't have enough guys. Uh, but I thought we got better as the season went on. You know what I mean? I thought each guy got a little bit better. We got in the league. We won some games. The unfortunate thing was I thought we were going to make a little run, and we got hurt again. So, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I thought our guys got better. They persevered throughout the entire season. But it was tough going. I mean, you, you, you literally, you know, you travel with us. You know, we had seven players, seven players. In, the travel, in the travel party. You know what I mean? We had two guys. We couldn't even do like a stand up where the guys got announced. You know what I mean? Everybody was sitting down. The coaches had to get in the line. Uh, but it was a little frustrating in that respect. Uh, but I, like I said, I thought the guys first were very third. They, they fought hard. I thought each guy got a lot better. Uh, a lot of guys who you probably weren't expecting to play big minutes played a lot for you last year, which probably helps the effort a little bit this year going forward. How are. Uh, how are some of those sophomores doing and no. Rashawn and, and guys like that? The, the dynamic of the team is a little strange because we really only have two people who haven't played a lot. Uh, Terrell Allen, our freshman, and Ahmad Fields who transferred in from Utah. Everybody else pretty much on the team has played significant minutes at the school. Uh, so they play between anywhere from 15 to 15. Four block shot by Delaware. Play the Aggressively. You know what I mean? He's been out pretty much for two years now. Uh, you know, Major was out last year. So all the guys are sort of coming back, uh, and everybody's played a lot of minutes. So hopefully that, that, that that's an advantage for us during the season. Uh, you talk about the fact that Cass is coming back, sat out for, for the most part of two years, and, you know, 
here's a presence. There's a guy who brings some energy for you and some strength. Um, is he a guy who's going to start for you this year? Has Kaz come back and get in the starting lineup? I don't think we've gone to that point, but I will say, though, you know, he does bring a different type of intensity to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I actually think Major does the same thing. Major and, uh, and, and Ahmad, they bring a different type of intensity uh, when we start to play. Uh, you know, he's all energy. I mean, and, he, and, he's, and he's a tough kid. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so hopefully, you know, this for him, you know, I'm happy that he – I want him to stay healthy because I know how hard he's fought back to get to this position. And, uh, you know, I want him to have some success. And he's really worked hard. So, uh, you know, I'm looking for some good things for him throughout the year. A, a kid who really progressed towards the end of the year last year, Sammy Mojica, uh, and was an energy guy. He's a guy who came off the bench and always gave you a spark. Where's Sammy right now? Uh, no, he's been fine. I mean, uh, those guys, like I said, uh, one thing I've liked about our practices is that they've been very competitive. I think everybody looked at the guy next to him and said, okay, I might have played 15 minutes. Now, he might not have been there last year, but he played 15 minutes a game. So the comp- uh, competition level of practice has been pretty good. We just got to finish some things out. I think the guys, like I said, I thought they progressed last year uh, throughout the season. Sammy, you know, pretty much the first month of the season, never really got in. Then I actually thought he should have been on an all-rookie team. Uh, so. Uh, you know, so I'm looking forward. The expectation is a little bit higher from him. Uh, same thing with, uh, with Rashawn, Tyson, uh, those guys who were all, you know, all the freshman guys who actually played a lot of minutes last year. Uh, uh, so, but the competition is made a little bit better. They know, you know what, I got a guy next to me that played a lot. He's sort of experienced the same thing I have, so I got to be ready to play.